In Business News today, the National Institute of Economic and Social Research puts growth of the economy at 1.4% next year, largely based on the view that house prices will increase by more than 5%. The think tank also expected unemployment to fall gradually to 7.4% by the middle of next year. In personal finance, 50 cooperative branches face the axe, but the CEO says the bank would retain its ethical values, which should be written into its constitution for the first time and cannot be changed while the co-op remains a major shareholder. Energy firms will be told today to return millions of pounds to customers who have overpaid bills because they use direct debit after it emerged that they were stockpiling an estimated £2 billion this way. A fifth of shopping takes place online, says the British Retail Consortium, accounting for 24.1% of clothing sales and 3.7% of health and beauty sales and 30% of all footwear sales. In property, there's been a rapid boost for UK builders as the sector heats up as UK construction firms continue their upward climb during October, posting the strongest one-month improvement to activity since before the financial crisis. However, the RICS says that despite the fact that building activity is still down to it on its pre-crash levels, companies are reporting shortages in both skilled labour and materials. In recruitment news, employers hire foreign workers because they are better qualified and work harder, says the National Institute of Economic and Social Research. They interviewed executives who said that British workers need to up their game because they face growing opposition from abroad. Women returning to work are crucial to recovery, says Culture Secretary Maria Miller, insisting that women are not an optional part of the labour force. A survey of 2,000 women by law firm Slater and Gordon last year found that one in four mothers feel they have been discriminated at work while pregnant or after returning to their job.